Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Dhabiya Palace, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior officials. The meeting included discussions of a number of local affairs aiming at enhancing the development march of the kingdom and its people. His Majesty praised the contributions of Bahrainis in the march of the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met the Bahraini Saudi Joint Business Council headed by Abdul Rahman Al Atishan at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the historic deep rooted Bahraini Saudi relations which continue to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He emphasized the importance of further strengthening bilateral cooperation across various economic sectors in order to provide quality investment opportunities that would benefit the citizens of both countries and serve shared sustainable development goals. His Royal Highness noted the role played by the Saudi Bahraini Joint Council in bolstering economic investment and commercial integration between the two kingdoms, aimed at further advancing economic development. The Council expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and noted His Royal Highness's continued support to expanding Bahraini Saudi ties. The Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Industry, Com Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Al Zayani, and the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber for Commerce and Industry, Samir Abdullah Nas, attended the meeting.
Later in the day, the Bahraini Saudi Joint Business Council held a meeting in the presence of the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and more than 100 prominent members of the business community from both sides to discuss means of developing trade relations between the two brotherly countries. More on this report with Abdul Ghaffar. Commencing the meeting and heading the Bahraini side of the Bahraini Saudi Joint Business Council, Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry hailed the historical ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and affirmed the keenness of both business communities to step up business collaboration and take trade and investment to new heights matching the aspirations of both countries and their peoples. He expressed confidence in the outcomes of the Joint Council, particularly in light of the keenness of both sides and the promising business potentials. We have agreed to, to set up subcommittees to uh, look at the opportunities available in terms of investments opportunities in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and that will percolate through and communicate with potential uh, business communities from both sides of the countries to look at uh, what are the opportunities available in, in investments. Similarly, head of the Saudi side to the council reiterated readiness to consolidate efforts with the Bahraini side to invigorate trade and partnership between both sides and exploit business and investment opportunities. He also voiced pride in the deep-rooted Bahraini-Saudi relations. Both countries, uh, they are uh, going in the same way. And I think this is, will be a very good future for the economy for both countries, Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. And this is what we are looking to, or today we are looking to have also some, uh, there is a lot of, of projects also in Bahrain, they are uh, willing to, to have it with the uh, shares with the Saudi businessmen, and the Saudi businessmen, they are willing to, to go and to invest in different uh, business, in uh, health and in uh, real estate and uh, in different uh, things. Statistics show that the volume of trade exchange in 2018 amounted to about 33.7 billion Saudi rials, while in 2017 it was about 27.2 billion Saudi rials, which means that the volume of trade exchange between the two countries has increased by 24 percent. A promising base to capitalize on and further enhance business collaboration. The Bahraini-Saudi Joint Business Council meets today with new strategies to step up business between the two countries and enhance economic consolidation. Hiba Abdul Ghaffar, Bahrain International. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting where the council approved the Services Committee's recommendation on a proposal regarding the transfer and transplant of human organs. The council also approved a draft law amending Article 3 of Decree by Law 2 of 1994 on urban planning. The Council also rejected a draft law amending Article 11 of Decree by Law 78 of 2006 on unemployment insurance. A cooperation agreement between the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and Tamcon Contracting Company has been signed at the Southern Governor's Building in the presence of the Southern Governor, Sheikh Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa, and the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam Khalaf. The agreement comes in light of the directives of His Royal Highness of Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and regards the construction of a multi-purpose hall for the residents of Adur City. The Minister of Forks, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam Khalaf, took a tour of the projects that the 7th constituency of the Southern Governorate are undergoing, along with Representatives Council member Ali Naimi. This comes as part of the Ministry's projects to carry out new services projects for citizens across the Kingdom, as per the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The projects include improving the rain drainage system in the area, which the Minister said has resulted in the replacement of 600 meters of tubes. The Minister also said that the Ministry is also working on adding wooden benches and grass, as well as an improvement of traffic movement. 
The Bahrain Diabetes Society launched the second edition of the Walking Challenge under the patronage of the President of the Supreme Council for Health and President of the Bahrain Diabetes Society, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, in cooperation with the BAPCO and the Southern Governorates within the project to combat obesity in the Southern Governorates. The event aims to raise health awareness among all members of society by following healthy lifestyles and pro promoting exercising to combat obesity and diabetes and reduce its complications. The aim of this initiative to prevent uh, the um, uh, the diseases, the non-communicable diseases, and to uh, adopt uh, the healthy lifestyle, like uh, walking and eating healthy, bes uh, beside other uh, healthy lifestyles. So we will start with uh, uh, encouraging walking in the community by the initiative, the Walking Challenge initiative. This is our annual Walking Challenge from Bahrain Diabetes Society where we encourage the public to engage in physical activity. We launched this last year from January to April with a huge participation from the public. And what we mandated is that the public send us proof through social media, through our Instagram on Bahrain Diabetes Society account, documenting or proving that they've walked 30 minutes a day, five days a week for three months. And those who participated entered into a draw for valuable prices. We're repeating this again because last year we had encouraging results from the public. Uh, the WHO, the American Diabetes Asso Association, the American Cardiology Association all advocate for everyone to walk for 150 minutes a week or do any kind of moderate intensity physical activity. And we find that walking is one of the most engaging activities and we do it this way to encourage the public. The National Bank of Bahrain yesterday named Lynn St. Lawrence as the mega winner of its annual Dream Prize, a new track record to the scheme's success. The winner won $1 million in cash and a five-year monthly salary of $5,000 and a luxury villa in Rafah Views, a win that distinguishes itself from the previous years of the Al Watani Savings Scheme Prize. The prize is the biggest opportunity in terms of total value locally and aims to provide an opportunity to change the life of the lucky winner. Lynn was invited to a special celebration at the avenues alongside the NBB management to mark the win. The biggest ever NBB surpassed his expectations this year as it also granted 12 additional winning chances for its dream prize. Still a dream at the moment. I think it's just starting to sink in now. I've had a whole week to think about it when they called me last Thursday on the 16th of January at 10.30 in the morning. And uh, when they rang me up, I thought it was something to do with telemarketing. So I said to the guy, I said, can I call you back later? I'm at work. <laughs> so he said, no, 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 it won't take a minute. So um, he started to go on about, uh, do I know what our Watani was? And uh, how long had I been with uh, National Bank of Bahrain? And so I told him 20 years. And he said, was I happy with it? And I said, I'm very happy. But I hadn't won anything. So he said, well, that's about to change. So then he sort of said to me, well, you know, your name has come out of the draw. So you've won this, you've won that, and blah, blah, blah. And I, by that time, I was sort of like, gone. So God knows what I said. Well, obviously, it's a, a real big change of life for me. Uh, you know, I never, ever would have thought about this would ever happen to me. But, you know, um, like I said, I've had a week to think about it and it didn't seem real. But today the dream is coming alive. So I've got to do some serious thinking about things. We're happy to welcome all of our customers and our guests today uh, in this wonderful uh, NBB festival uh, to share the joy of announcing the winners of the Watani Savings Scheme. Uh, the Watani Saving Scheme uh, is very dear to our hearts. It's been running for many years now, and we've distributed over $20 million uh, in prizes. Uh, last year, around $4.5 million, and hopefully next year we will, uh, we're running uh, much more prizes for many more winners. Uh, it, is a special, it has a special place in our hearts because uh, it gives us the opportunity to reward our clients, our loyal clients, for uh, entrusting their banking relationship uh, with their uh, local bank, the National Bank of Bahrain. Uh, and uh, we, we try to make it a point to share this in a very festive, family-oriented environment uh, where everyone, be it NBB or non-NBB clients, are welcome here to enjoy their day.
So the Al Watani Savings Scheme of the National Bank of Bahrain has been rewarding $20 million over its course of lifetime. Uh, and it's always a pleasure to call a customer and uh, give the news of the lucky win. Uh, this year, 2019, was a year long of cash prizes. And uh, we wanted to kind of uh, celebrate today with the families of the winners and the public and our loyal customers through this event, uh, the, the dream prize, which is uh, covering the December's prize. So today, if you can see, uh, people are here, enjoy with their families. We have entertainment for the children, and we also have some sort of entertainment for the adults. Uh, many prizes to be won, and we are thrilled to be celebrating the winner's, winner's uh, excitement on this day. Um, uh, it's always good to be closer to the customers and uh, enjoy the celebration all together. Uh, the the Al Watani 2020 has lots of surprises also coming, and we definitely will have more prizes, more cash, more winners.